All right, I am back here now. I have finished taking my inside cuts to finish the thickness of my uh, tenon on this bridle joint. Uh, if you recall, the first way I established that thickness was to move from the outside and go in. Then I left my fence set at that, so I've taken all of those cuts. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna clear this out. Now there are a couple different ways that people can do it. I'm just showing you the way I do this on this one. So let me go ahead, and I'll get this back in here like this. We'll get that in. So this will help me to clear that out. So. Notice we left a little piece in there, so a little thin piece, so I'm just a little over, that's not a big deal. Just move my fence back, take another cut. Okay. That's cleared out. I'll flip it around so I can remove that material from the other side. this one I left it here now some people at this point might just go ahead and take this kind of pull it out but that could rip your board so it's easy enough just to real quick move your fence back so that way you can cut it get that material cleared out so Depends on how much it is. If it breaks off it's pretty easy, then you can also take a little file and kind of clean that up. I'll usually maybe take a chisel or a file just to clean off those shoulders as well. So we'll do the same thing here. Well, make sure that I'm down all the way on the table. Everything is nice and tight. I'm up against all of my square surfaces. Move that fence back and forth to clear this out. side point I got a nice joint there that's nice friction got a nice joint here that's a nice friction joint so just got to finish clearing that out we're almost there so we'll be done with this frame in no time at all
right, let's see how we fit. This in. Slide that in. Get your mallet if you need to. You shouldn't really need to. This should be all go pretty well together by hand as you move that in with your friction fit. So. Okay, a little bit more trim work. There we got our styles and our rails for the beginning of our picture frame here. A little bit more hand work. We'll use the router on the inside. We'll cut some stuff out. We'll get it all glued together. Uh, and we'll be in a nice position here with our picture frame. So uh, thanks for paying attention. If you like what you see, by all means, please subscribe. Send me some uh, emails or messages. If you have something that you'd like to see, I'll be glad to go through with it. All of these uh, videos are done to help my classes learn how to use the equipment and the machines here that we have in the wood shop at Monticello High School. So thanks again for watching. Have a great day.